while summer is a great time to enjoy the outdoors, the smell of clean cut grass and the feel of sunshine on your face will certainly be welcomed and deserved after our long winter. But with that comes some seasonal concerns for man's best friend. So we are getting you ready in today's Find a Friend segment sponsored by Rascal Animal Hospital with Dr. Crystal Decker. So welcome back, Crystal. Hi, thanks for having us. Okay, who you got with you today? So this is little Dory. She's about four months old. She's a little Yorkshire, Yorkshire Terrier. Um, and she is from I Have a Dream Rescue Organization. She's a happy little thing. She's been giving everybody kisses all morning <laughs> since she's been here. Um, what they say, she's great with other small dogs and cats. Okay. Um, they have not introduced her to large dogs yet. Um, and I don't think they've introduced her to children yet, but I can't see her having too much trouble with than, anybody. Yeah, more than just fun. With she is kids, such so. a sweet, sweet <laughs> little girl. So you can find her I had Dro, which I have a dream rescue organization is their website. So you can find her there, right? Yep. If you want to adopt her. Yep. Okay. So we're going to talk about it's starting to get warmer. We've got some concerns, of course, for pets. So first up, we want to talk heat stroke. Yes. So yes, as it's getting warmer and warmer, that's going to be a bigger and bigger concern. Um, there are definitely many things you can do to prevent heat stroke. Um, really simple things. Um, one is just going to be making sure if you are going to be outside with your pet for excessive periods of time that they have plenty of shade to find cover from the sun and also plenty of fresh, cool water to drink. Um, I know a lot of people will leave their dogs outside during the day and stuff like that. So you want to make sure those things are provided for them. Um, when it's getting excessively, excessively hot out, um, probably not a great idea to leave them outside unattended for long periods of time because um, that's when we can definitely see some some of these issues. And what is it exactly that causes heat stroke? The same thing as humans? I mean, just overheating? Yeah, it's basically just overheating. Um, so some things that you want to watch in your dog for would be really excessive panting. You know, panting is normal in dogs when they're outside because that's how they eliminate heat. But a lot of excessive heating or panting, excessive drooling, sometimes they even may, may show signs of weakness, disorientation, or even collapse would be more severe signs of heat stroke in pets. All right, okay, Dr. Decker, parasites, ticks, and heartworm, those are all big issues. How do you know if your dog has those? Well, so first, you pro probably a good idea now it's getting warmer to make sure you get your annual checkup in um, to make sure get your pet heartworm tested. A lot of we do recommend annual yearly heartworm prevention. Some people decide not to do it in the winter months, so it's really important to get in there, get your checkup, make sure they don't have heartworm disease, um, and then we get them on prevention because heartworm disease comes from mosquito bites, so that's how the disease is transmitted. Um, flea and tick is also important. Ticks are becoming a bigger and bigger thing every year um, in Ohio. Ohio, they're really moving more this way from the east. So uh, you want to make sure your pet's on prevention to help prevent the diseases that can come from those. And you'll know if they start itching, right? If you see them in your house. Yeah, fleas, definitely. Um, ticks are going to be a lot harder, but fleas, um, they easily jump on your pet, will jump off. Um, you may even get bit yourself. So you definitely want to have them on prevention because once you start getting pet fleas on your pet in your house, you're having a much more serious situation than you have to treat your environment as well. So sure, and that could be a whole yes, different prevention thing. Prevention is much cheaper than dealing with it when it becomes an issue. And Dr. Decker, vaccines always important, but this time of year you should kind of check and make sure they're updated, right? Yeah, and especially because a lot of times right now people are going to the dog parks and just getting their pets out more social. And so you want to make sure your pet is pre prevented against diseases that are just easy to prevent with vaccines. So. Right, rabies, parvo, are those some of the ones people should check on? Yep, rabies, distemper, parvo, lepto, um, Lyme disease is becoming a bigger issue in Ohio. There's a vaccine to prevent that disease as well that comes from tick disease ticks, um, Bordetella, which is to protect against kennel cough, which is a pretty infectious disease um, that we see a lot with dogs that go to the dog parks and kennels and stuff like that. So. So these are all things, though, you can check with your vet, check with Rascal Animal Hospital, right? And they'd be able to kind of take care of it all. Yeah, but we'll usually go through a kind of a, a wellness plan, kind of discuss what your pet's um, exposures are and everything like that and try to come up with the best plan for them to help prevent any issues. Perfect. Okay, again, you can find Dory at the <laughs> I Have a Dream Rescue Organization. So it's ihadro.org. Thank you for yep, being with thank us. Thank you.